okay so our train moves to the central today hi beautiful people welcome back and thank you for clicking to see this video thank you for stopping by on today's video but if this is your first time here welcome my name is Lillian and this is another school reaction video now the truth is I saw the school before Achimota Senior High but I wanted to take a look at Achimota first because it's a mixed school so that is why Achimota's video came up before this one and I'm glad to finally take a look at this and I hope that you take a look at it with me too before I even give my opinion let's go and see what the campus of a secondary school looks like in Ghana and to those of you that newly joined my channel today we are going to Addis school at the central region of Ghana and this school have produced so many prominent Ghanaians and even other Africans. I heard that back in the days when the continent of West Africa was still under the colony of the British government. So a lot of um, there were no countries in Africa so it was basically regions. So that means that back in the days schooling in Ghana as a, a person from I'm going to use more of the English countries, so pardon me, I have to, yeah, of course, for a Nigerian. So schooling in Ghana as a Nigerian back then was nothing strange. It wasn't like you are an international student. You're just simply from another region to another. And so due to that, a lot of people schooled here. Just the same way some Ghanaians may have schooled in other regions in the western part of Africa. All right, so this school... It's safe to say it has produced prominent African leaders and I would like us to go take a look at Adisco. Addis Adel College, popularly known as Adisco, is an Anglican boys boarding school in Cape Coast, Ghana. Key aspects of the school's administration and curriculum were originally modeled on the English public school system during the colonial era. The present curriculum falls within the senior high school system in Ghana, with overall oversight by the Ghana Education Service. The word Adisco is a portmanteau of Addis Adelan College. The school is named after what used to be a small village on the outskirts of the Cape Coast Township, Addis Adel Village. Ah, 
I'm trying to be careful with the way I pronounce it. Adizade, is it Adizabe or Adizade? Adizade College at the Central Region of Ghana. Oh, who, 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 la la. I won't lie to you. Sometimes I feel ashamed that I have to talk about another country like this when I'm supposed to basically just pretend not to notice these things in Ghana. That is to protect my image. I mean, to make me look like a wise person. But the truth is, this is coming straight from my heart. And I can't lie. At sometimes, the first day, now listen, the first day I took a look at this campus, the first thing that came to my mind is, why can't I just basically be a Ghanaian beyond papers and I found myself smiling I had mixed emotion and at some point I felt like I wish I can map where I come from my part because I even if I become Ghanaian today I'm going to miss I'm still going to miss all the people from my home state so what I wish I can map my part of where I come from and place it somewhere here in Ghana and automatically and automatically just become part of Ghana and we become that will help me become Ghanaian beyond papers <laughs> that was how I felt okay but nevertheless this is Africa and I can live here as long as I want yeah honestly this is this looks more like a university campus yeah, it looks a lot more like a higher institution campus. And at first, I took a pause and tried to understand why so much investment in a secondary school. Because some places, if you didn't go past some, like, secondary schools are not big deal like that. Uh, because some places, especially where I come from, if you only finish from secondary school, you are considered uneducated. You can't talk where others are talking. So because of that, it has bring this gap, like the gap between the higher institution and this is wide. I have a Ghanaian friend who would always talk about his secondary school experience more than his university days experience. Truth is, this person is a graduate from one of the prestigious unis in Ghana. But this person was always up for his secondary school experience. Oh, this person was in my school. Uh, some of these musicians, this person would be like, oh, this guy or this lady used to be in my school. She actually finished from my school. I'd be like, oh, your uni. The person would say, no, 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 I mean, in my senior high. I was like, why so much talked about senior high? Because, I mean, but I think... Since I started taking a look at these campuses and how they are being treated, now I understand why our matters are always proud of their school.
always talking about his secondary school. If I didn't know him beyond just what he said it is, if I didn't know that this person is a graduate from a university, I would have doubted that he's a graduate. Jokes apart, it's not in my character to basically tell people nice things about themselves. If there is nothing to talk about, I know, right? I will never tell anybody the bad things or the things I will never remind people of the things they don't have. I know I will basically not say anything to hurt them, but I won't say, like I won't praise anything that is not available to be praised. So when I talk about, about something in Ghana, it's not as a result of me trying to console or for the views or whatever. No, it is because that is what it is and I love it. This is more than just a school and nobody can tell me nothing. Like a secondary school and these schools are free correct me down there at the comment section i have a friend who has a child even though she's partly ghanaian partly nigerian and one of her child is in one of the schools in ghana one of the public schools in ghana and she pays absolute nothing the only time she would have paid money for her son to be in that school would have been if she wanted her son to be in the boarding house because of some things you will get for if the child is going to be in the dormitory there are things you are supposed to get in the absence of that nothing you don't have to pay anything so she up for the option of a day school for her child because she wanted her child back home this child goes to school and eats food the child eats lunch. The reason this child gets only lunch from the school is because this child is registered in the school as a day student. So the government only made provision for that child's lunch alone. I'm talking about senior high school. They give them food to eat. I'm seeing all of these beautiful buildings, like this energy the government puts into these schools. And I kind of like, okay, if you are a taxpayer, it is worth it. This is more than just a school. more than just a school and the schools are i don't know if you know that the government schools in ghana are for absolute free of charge <laughs> Seem like you're searching in the dark But when the darkness turns to light All the troubles fade away to nothing And it tells me everything's gonna be okay There are many times you feel not right Tossing and turning through the night I 
as the day goes by Seeming like it's such a little dark But when the darkness sends to light All the troubles fade away to nothing Honey, trust me, everything's gonna be okay Oh, bana mi shenu bala ke da da o de de This is a secondary school we are talking about. Secondary school. Secondary school. <laughs> the first day I stumbled on at this school, someone decided to like leave me that nice comment. The person said, okay, since you're a lover of nature, if you want to take a look at the senior high schools in Ghana, do not forget to take a look at Adizabe College. From the way you talk about nature, I can judge that you will love it. And I said, okay, let me just quickly go take a look. And there I am looking at this amazing school. That is a secondary school. This is a secondary school. This is why I'm surprised. This amount of energy is being put into a secondary school. Normally, somewhere in the world, the government agrees to invest in a university environment because straight from uni you are supposed to go back into the society and give back to the society to your country and you pay a lot of money for these unis all right so secondary schools because uh, some of them are free the government don't invest any of their energies into it now let me boss your bubble for those that are watching from outside of ghana according to my understanding of these senior high schools in ghana you do not pay any money as a parent to the government for your child to be in a school of course maybe at the beginning maybe you pay for uniforms you pay for something and if you want your child to be in a boarding school you are supposed to you're supposed to get some things for your child that is going to be in the dormitory aside that you pay absolute nothing your child fees for free i mean your child is giving three square meals for absolute no cost all of this is on the government you don't pay tuition fees you don't pay anything your child is taken care of like three square meal three square meal and it's not just meal they give them food like bankers the more you try to understand this country the more you, some things are being unfolded to you seriously i wanted to just end this reaction thing i just wanted to end my shocks with the campuses i mean university campuses okay i was thinking of going into the private unis to take a look and see what they can come up with since the government is already doing too much mm, i wanted to see a yeah private how are you doing but since i decided to take a look at the senior highs i'm like i mean i mean the more you live here the more you discover something new about ghana i never knew in my entire youtube career i'll be sitting down and talking about a secondary school <laughs> this is not because it's nothing this is secondary schools are actually very important back in the days our then leaders majority of them ended their studies in secondary school <laughs> Go, 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 go
but things you know kind of change the world kind of improved they so a lot of people no longer see secondary schools as a big deal but we discover that somewhere in africa secondary schools children are still being treated like a national treasure is something to to appreciate but there's something about this school that i think is more than just a school the school's activities trained by actual soldiers i am a nigerian back home you get that kind of training when you are going for your the nync that is national youth service corp they train you they have actual soldiers who comes into these camps this is the only time we get actual soldiers coming to train people anyways i'm not surprised a lot of things are being done in ghana where the government invests a lot of their energy into i don't know sometimes i'm sorry i don't know why you Ghanaians do complain you for a government who treasures it own like this it's it's child like this it's okay to want more from the government okay so they don't any day ever think it's okay to relax but sometimes take a moment and just appreciate them anyways i know you guys do appreciate by loving your country because loving your country simply means you protecting the reputation of your country you staying away from senseless crime staying away from something that will bring the image of your country to the world in a in a, a bad way i won't lie sometimes i have wished that i'm Ghanaian, especially when i'm taking a look at some of these places online i'm smiling i'm like oh my god i wish i'm from here but unfortunately i am not from here biologically <laughs> but thank god this is west africa and this is a black nation <laughs> seriously some things in ghana are well done and i won't lie the schools the health the security i've always given it to you guys you know a lot of ghanaians have been reaching out to me privately to dash me their citizenship if i want i can take it i wish this is possible you guys i wish this is possible i will take it those that knows me beyond youtube videos knows that i mean every word of what i'm saying all right i also want to come from a country where i can do you know anyhow i can do citizenship swap do you know how that is possible but even if i become a Ghanaian by paper i where am i gonna go pick a region for me do you do you have space in your own region because i feel like everywhere is taken even inside the bush if i go there to form my own uh, whatever but because originally i'm not from here i'm still i'm never gonna come from here anyways i enjoyed taking a look at this video and i hope that you love this videos and uh, i will see you in my next one all right thank you so much i'm seeing a lot of schools and i'm still taking a look at so don't go far away okay come back here there will be a video on all the schools in ghana it may take me a while to get them because in between i may take a break to do other things so but don't go too far all right i will be hanging hang around because these schools are coming thank you for watching this one i will see you in my next one bye